Hello, hello, this is AJ here, and I spent a week developing the survival FPS named Movie 2. And I'm going to show you guys exactly that. So you start out in these, I guess, plains of some mountains, and some basic enemies will spawn. So early on, the enemies are pretty easy, you can kill them like one shot, and I don't even think they do damage to you. However, as time goes on, I believe it's like every minute, they scale uh, like X times their base. So like by two minutes they're two times more powerful, three minutes they're three times, and so on, right? And so we're just gonna play through the game. Uh, I'm likely probably not gonna do well in this run because besides just killing enemies and surviving, you also get upgrades as seen right there. Oh yeah, you have a flamethrower too. So on the bottom right shows all the upgrades. It looks like we got a regeneration upgrade. I don't remember that, honestly. Okay, we got one though, regardless. So, now, yeah, we just survive. Uh, there's some secrets around the game. Their enemies are this tentacle creature that shoots a missile. There is a little giant ball that, I'm not exactly sure what it is, it's kind of like a black hole. And it like shoots projectiles on both sides and slowly at you. It's really meant as like a support for the enemies to stop you from doing, well, going around them like this. I said stop you. It's more like a try. Um, and then we have these ships that shoot like a a beam of particles at you. Oh, and a rover that shoots fire. So those are the four primary enemies, and yeah, your goal really is to survive as long as possible killing enemies as you go to get upgrades and the reason why you want to get upgrades is again the enemies scale but not only that after five minutes they'll scale exponentially i believe currently how they're scaled is uh, in the beginning they only scale like normal right one times F uh, five minutes they scale four times faster at 10 nine times at 15 16 times and so on and so the enemies are going to scale exponentially. However, you are also going to scale exponentially. Your abilities that you get, or upgrades, are going to be like 2 times more attack, 1.6 times more attack speed, and so on. That is how the abilities scale. Um, yeah. As you notice, I have quite a bit of health at this moment. Um, it looks like yeah, okay, it looks like the flamethrower guys are still not going through my arm. Oh, I don't have armor, never mind. So on the bottom right, there's this like ability with like a shield and a projectile reflecting it. Or it's somewhere like an arrow. Uh, it gives me a chance to be immune to damage. Now it's not that powerful when you only have a couple upgrades of it, but it is quite nice because it, it can pre help prevent the like flamethrower damage a little bit. I think right now, if I had to guess, there's a 15% chance for us not to take damage when we do. So it's quite nice. And that's the little ding sound that you hear when we get hurt. Not the coin picking up the ding when we get hurt. So um, as you can see, our gun's now <laughs> starting to get more overpowered. It's now like a machine gun. Uh, I would love to show the secrets, but since I want this to be more of like a gameplay kind of trailer, and guide, I don't really want to show that. So instead, I'm just going to kind of show at least gameplay if you've practiced quite a bit. Um, you're not really going to get this result first try unless you're like already kind of familiar with the genre. Uh, my general recommendation is that you really want to be moving at all times. And later on, you really want to be using this hover ability that I have. I mean, I kind of forgot to mention it, but we have this hover ability and it's really good. Oh wow, we got a lot of abilities. Okay. And to think the dro drop rate is only 0.25. Or unless I didn't fix that. No, 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 it's 0.25. I, I definitely fixed it. I think we're just killing so many enemies that it seems like the, it's really high. This is, this is when you can kind of snowball. Because we're scaling exponentially and we're killing enemies quicker, so we're getting more abilities like way faster than we did before and so it's gonna hit five minutes pretty soon right and so 
But when it does, the enemy should scale. But we're already pretty scaled ourselves. Um, I'm gonna turn on the volume a little bit because our gun's now getting a bit insane. So now that it's hit five minutes, the enemy should be stronger. The new enemies that spawn, not the current ones. And it's looking like they don't really stand a chance regardless. So I'm probably gonna uh, like fast forward the game here since the gameplay is pre pretty repetitive. It's more fun to actually play than to watch. And so I'll just uh, zoom through the video from here. Okay, so it's hit t 10 minutes. The enemy should be scaled again. However, again, since we scaled so quickly, the enemies don't even stand a chance. I think our base, for example, or for example, I believe our base attack for our machine gun is 10. Well, we've doubled that 14 times now. So even if the enemies are scaling nine times faster, right? And it's uh, 10 minutes, then it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they're 90 times stronger, because we've skipped... I, I don't even want to do the quick map, I'm sure you guys can do it yourself. Just get your calculator out and do 10 times uh, 2, 14 times. You're going to get a big number. So, I was thinking oh, while the break, over the break that, hey, what is this tower, right? What is... Well, like, there's some towers over there. What is that? What is that? Well, you have to play the game to figure it out. And also, after playing this, it kind of seems like the drop rate is a bit busted right now. I adjusted how often and how close enemies spawn, and it seems like now, because of that, you get loot quite easily, and I don't really want that. I'd actually rather prefer people struggled and had some issues playing the game. Like, not too hard, but... Mm, I don't know, the game shouldn't be this easy, basically. So I think I'm going to adjust the drop rate for drops to being like maybe like 0.15 and 0.2 instead of 0.25. So it's going to be quite rare, but I think with the amount of enemies that are spawning, it shouldn't be an issue. Maybe. I'm going to, of course, test this out, but for now, we're just going to enjoy me scaling, well, infinitely and exponentially. Uh, I will like to, I would like to clarify that some abilities are not scaling exponentially. The immune chance isn't scaling exponentially. It caps out at about, well, it, it, eventually you just become invulnerable, right? Because increases your percent to not become, to not get hit, right? And so what I've done is made it so that each one you get makes the next one, uh, like half as much, kind of like that. It's basically a logarithmic function, stopping at a hundred percent. So you'll never become completely invulnerable from damage, at least through immune chance. I'm also done the same for speed and jump height and flamethrower range, because those things, after a certain point, the upgrades kind of become more of a debuff. Like when you, you move so fast that it's hard to pick up anything, any jump so high, it's kind of pointless. Like what's the point? Uh, I would also like to describe the abilities too. So starting from the very left of the bottom, so on the bottom right of the screen, starting from the very left, we have attack, which I believe scales times two per. We have max mana, which is times two per. Mana regeneration, which is next, which is 1.6 times per right now, currently. 
Uh, this is all subject to change, by the way, with balancing. I, I probably won't balance the game too much on the item side, but more on the enemy spawning. So um, next we have flamethrower range, which increases the speed and size of the flamethrower, which also kind of makes it a lot... I think it does more damage since it's faster shooting more particles um, when you increase the range. Um, and also it's a lot easier to use since it's faster. Um, next up for that we have attack speed, which is the sword and the two arrows, which I think scales by 1.6 per. And we have speed, which scales two times per, I believe. Well, speed, sorry, is logarithmic, so it doesn't really scale two times per. It's like, yeah, it caps out at about, I think, 60. I don't know, probably will. I'm going to have to adjust it, because right now, we don't, I don't feel too fast by having 15. And I feel like I could be a bit faster. Same with jump height. I think this is not that much. I mean, one thing is jump height does kind of scale exponentially. At least per jump. And so right now, it looks like we're just not moving. That's because there's a ceiling above us. And we're not really going to jump much higher. And so for a while, we're going to be on the ceiling, which, whatever. Uh, honestly, we're so overpowered, it doesn't matter. So next is jump amounts. Right now, we have 16 jumps. Oh, let's get these guys up here. And then we have armor, which is also scales exponentially. I think it's two times per. Uh, I will say that that's probably subject to change because armor seems a bit overpowered. Like right now, we have so much armor, I don't think anything does damage. Yeah. Um, although we just hit another scaling point at 15. So, yeah. Seems, let's see, do things do damage to us now? No, so. Armor is probably a bit overpowered. I don't think I'll keep it out two times. I'll probably make it... 1.6 and our, right now our base armor is 3 but when we because of that base armor 3 we don't really take damage in the beginning because enemies do less damage than 3 so I'm probably going to make it so you have 0 armor in the beginning and the first armor you get uh, from the upgrade is going to give you like 6 I mean this is just numbers at this point but still you, the basic gist should be there um, so after the armor we have 18 of is immune chance and I would say probably our immune chance is probably like 70% or something like that with this many. So we have a 70% chance of taking basically no damage. After that, the H represents max health. That doubles every time. And then health regeneration, which I think doubles every time. I'm not sure. And yeah, that's all of our abilities. Uh, there's no plans to add additional abilities since this is a week-long project. I wanted to keep this largely in a week. I'm still kind of doing small fixes, but I don't really want to do anything big with the game because... I'm done. I want to just be done with projects. I want to have them finished. And so overall, I'm pretty happy with Ubi 2 for the most part. And I plan on creating longer projects and more in the future. If I do release more uh, on my itch.io, it's probably going to be uh, Game Jam if it's recent. Because I'm going to be doing one pretty soon with a friend of mine. But um, yeah, I hope to grow more as a developer. And from now on, I'm just going to skim through the footage until I die. I probably won't die this run since I'm so overpowered, but I'll keep running just uh, to show you all how the late game looks. And it's <laughs> pretty interesting. Our gun just is uh, quite entertaining right now. So yeah, I'll catch you all later.